Welcome back to Rise Exchange. You need a scorecard to keep track of all the lists of presidential candidates, especially on the Republican side. Here at Arise, we're planning to review the economic platforms of these candidates one at a time. We're going to start with the series with the Democratic frontrunner, Hillary Clinton. Basil Smeichel is here to tell us about Ms. Clinton's economic policies. Basil was a staffer in Clinton's Senate office when she was a New York State senator, and he's the executive director of the New York State Democratic Party. Thank you. Welcome back to Good Arise to Exchange. Thanks. All right, so she's going to unveil soon her economic policies. Uh, what are her cornerstone policies going to be? Well, I think you'll see a lot of conversation about um, supporting the middle class, and I know a lot of elected officials talk about that, and, and candidates talk about the middle class. It's a losing proposition to say I'm not going to support the middle class. <laughs> right. You, you have to sort of say that, but I do think that there is a there is a growing conversation about the connection between both wages and wealth, and sort of wealth creation and wealth growth. Um, so I do think you'll see a lot of talk about uh, increasing uh, minimum wage, and I think you'll see a lot of talk about equal pay for women. Um, these are, I think, the corner, going to be the cornerstones of her economic message. But I, I think for Democrats broadly, um, that is going to be something that will go well into November. Has she been trekking to the left in part because of Bernie Sanders? I wouldn't, I wouldn't peg Bernie Sanders as the one pushing her to the left. Frankly, I think the party in general is talking more loudly about these issues than they ever have before. Um, when I talk about minimum wage, uh, you, we, we, we need to talk also about organized labor and how uh, they've been organizing fast food workers and so on. So I think there's been a groundswell of uh, engagement on these issues that predated her sort of uh, uh, running uh, against Bernie Sanders. But I, I would also add that I think Bernie's been talking Talking about these clearly with the thousand or so people that are coming to his rallies. Yeah, well, in Madison, clearly, Wisconsin, you're going to get a lot of people to come to a right. socialist rally party, I, I especially know, if I they serve you, beer at no, the state I, university. I, I tell you, he's getting good crowds <laughs> in New York he's, as well. He's and, showing and crowds everywhere. Right, and and so there is there there is the, the message is being is there is traction there. But important. how? I, but but um, Secretary Clinton has a problem, and the problem is her history. All right, mm -hmm. because she sat on the board of Walmart. Walmart fought minimum wage increases for years and years years and years. There's pay inequality issues, Walmart. Uh, she took a lot of money from Wall Street when she ran for the Senate. It appears now that she's having this change of heart, you could argue, because she needs to win the Democratic primary. I don't know if it's a change of heart so much as it's, I mean, there is a movement afoot, and I think she's recognizing that there is this movement. Um, yes, she, you know, she's taking money from uh, Wall Street. Everybody has. Mm -hmm. But the question is, that then does she go around and talk about how you fix it? I've actually heard her talk about that. She has been doing that. And I, and I, and I also think that with respect to um, equal pay for women, for example, I mean, those, there's a connection to sort of family issues, household issues, neighborhood issues that I think resonates with everybody, particular moderates, because there, 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 are some, there are unemployment issues and poverty issues there as well. Does she believe the answer to pay to inequality, economic inequality, is raising wages or more opportunities for those disadvantaged to get into the business world? So it's interesting because I think the flip side of uh, income inequality is lack of opportunity. So, I, so you actually have to do both. I think she recognizes that. And, you know, and, and in sort of going back to the Wall Street question, I think you have to have business as a partner for this. I, I don't think you can do it without big businesses, but the question is, how do you do it? Is it fair? Is it equitable? And does it actually help to reduce that inequality? Um, Jeb Bush came out with a statement, which he's sort of been walking back, that Americans <laughs> should work more hours. Yeah. Her position? Well, we, I don't. You know, I haven't heard her talk specifically about that. But uh, Americans work more than many other people around this world in terms of just raw hours. Absolutely. So the question is not just hours worked; it's about productivity, and it's also about how much money you are able to make to put into the economy. So I think that's where the question needs to go. It's not just about working more hours. Um, she's also going to be compared to the man she worked for in the White House, President Obama. Where do you see a difference on economic policies, and does she have to answer? for some of Mr. Obama's policies, sure. either good or bad. Sure, she'll have to answer for some of it only because she was, quote, unquote, part of the administration. She'll be asked, do you differ from Obama in, in X, Y, and Z? I think what she will be faced with are some of the unfinished business, some of the unfinished business of his administration, assuming that this happens. Um, inversions, for example, in corporate taxation. I think early on she's probably going to get asked about that. Um, and, and so she'll tackle that. I, I don't know does what she, she's Does she support a corporate taxation situation for repatriotizing? some of the money? You know, I'm honestly not sure about that, but I would, but I would say um, based on her history and I think based on, again, where the Democratic Party is trending, uh -huh. she's going to have to talk about that and it'll have to be addressed. Basil Smeichel, we'll have you back on as this campaign unfolds. Thank you so Great. much. Good to be here.